With the advent of HD SLRs, shooting with an open f-stop has become extremely common. But in this shot, you can't see the background. And up until now, you couldn't tell that the man you were waiting for is a bearded freak show. The C300 has such strong ISO performance that you can close down your iris to achieve a deeper depth of field. This can allow your backgrounds to be more present in the frame, which is especially useful when shooting against iconic backgrounds that relate to your story. This was shot at 1250 ISO, and you can see how little noise is present in the frame. Even at 5000 ISO, noise is very much under control. At 20,000 ISO, noise is texturally present, but the noise looks more like film grain than video noise. This guy is upset because he dropped his ice cream cone and he's not handling it like a man. He's moving around so much that he's hard to keep in focus at an open stop. Our grumpy focus pooler has no chance of nailing this shot at an open 1.2 stop on our 85mm lens. But when we stop down the lens to a 5.0, the focus puller has a better chance of keeping things in focus. Also, the backgrounds are more visible in this shot. How was the shot, James? <sighs> Fucking actors. These shots were done handheld with an 85mm lens. Shooting this way on an HD SLR would have been impossible due to image skew and wobble. With the EOS C300's new sensor, you can shoot aggressively and move the camera like a madman. We mounted an HD SLR alongside the C300 on the same head, with the same lens, at the same time. Basically, the same everything. To test how wobbling the head would affect the image. We also mounted an HD SLR and the C300 on the same car mount and went over a rough cobblestone road. Both images shake, but the HD SLR introduces a jello effect that makes the shot unusable and unfixable. This shot was accomplished using the 8 to 15 mm fisheye zoom lens. This kind of specialty lens is readily accessible in EF mount. A lens like this is harder to source in PL mount, so using EF options affordably opens up more unique perspectives that were not commonly used in the past. In these shots, you can also see how well the dynamic range is performing, with the hard backlight having a smooth roll-off that's very filmic in quality. Macro photography also becomes more accessible in EF mount. Here, we use the 100mm macro lens. Using Canon's tilt and shift lenses, cinematographers now have an affordable lens set to create these unique perspectives that focus the viewer's attention. Slow motion is available up to 30 frames per second in 1080p mode, and up to 60 frames per second in 720p mode. These cycling shots were done at 48 frames per second at 720p in a 2398 time pace. You can see again how well the highlights and shadows hold detail with this camera. How many times have you tried to shoot a simple interview where the subject showed up wearing something that the HDSLR couldn't handle? We no longer have to worry about that since the C300 suppresses Murray. Never again will we have awkward situations like this. This jacket's doing weird things for our, our camera. Can we uh, bring you a new jacket from wardrobe? I love this jacket. There are eight gamma settings you can choose from. We've shot this extremely high contrast scene of an uncomfortable woman and a creepy man to show you how the different gammas react to this environment. The normal settings are meant to be viewed on a television. The Cine settings are meant to emulate the look of film. Cine 2 has softer contrast than Cine 1. EOS standard emulates the look of HD SLRs. Canon Log sounds like a turd. It looks flat now, but it's meant to be color corrected later. What a pervert. Skin tone was a top priority for this camera. Here we can see how skin tones are affected by different gammas. Canon Log has a log gamma and high dynamic range. It retains maximum image detail for post-production. Hey, that's not supposed to be in there. Uh, all right, show, show the woman. All right, so these shots of this beautiful woman were done at 48 frames per second in 720p mode. With the additional skin in the frame, we can see how skin tone is directly affected by gamma settings. The 
Canon 24 to 105 zoom lens used to be considered too slow for run and gun type shooting, but now with high ISOs, it's a perfect match for this camera. This was shot at a staggering 10,000 ISO, and the image is still very clean. This is hands down the best camera for documentary work. Time to get excited, because this camera is awesome. You're welcome.